Hi, what's up y'all, it's Poppin' It's D, about to react to this choice vid. Troy's been dropping some bangers lately, okay? This one is titled, Why People Don't Feel Bad for Wendy Williams. So I did see a headline um, yesterday that um, she has been diagnosed with uh, dementia and something else. Um, so yeah, she's not doing very well. I do think it's a sad situation. I already know he's gonna say people don't feel bad for her because she's, you know, spoke very negatively about people for many years. But I don't know, I don't subscribe to that way of thinking. I feel bad for, you know, everybody, even the terrible people when bad things happen to them. Um, because even the good people, they do terrible things too, like, and say terrible things. I feel like she did run her mouth and gossip a lot, but it was her job. And we all gossip. We all like said a lot <laughs> of the same things that she was saying about people. So it's like, but anyway, let, let's hear what you have to say. Let's watch. Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, my loves. It's Destin Choice from Watching Choice it. TV. So today's video, we're going to get on here and talk about Wendy Williams. Now, let's be realistic for a second. Wendy Williams has been going through a oh. downward spiral for the past five, six years, and it's been very scary. Her eyes are popping out her head. Yeah, that's she looks insane. Remember. Like she looks like she's I remember this video. like fucking losing her life. You know, as you guys know, Wendy Williams has Graves' disease. So too, oh, Graves' disease. Graves' disease squeezes the muscles behind your eyeballs. And so oh. that's the reason for she was diagnosed with a plethora of other things. So Wendy Williams is also suffering from dementia and aphasia. Now, dementia obviously means that she has problems remembering her names, mm. remembering certain tasks. But even that is confusing to me because I, I thought people get dementia when they're like real, real old. I mean, there's typically not an age on a lot of illnesses. You know, people can get it at various different ages but when i think of someone having dementia i just think of someone very very old having it so she's relatively young so it is a bit confusing but remember a plethora of other things and it obviously affects the way she functioned hence why she lost her show back in 2022 i said she's young to really have a dementia proper finale then come to find out Wendy Williams is at risk of losing her conservatorship. Where if you guys didn't know, Will Spargo and a lot of people on her management team are trying to do everything they can to make sure they get access to her funds because Wendy Williams seems to be a danger to herself. Mm -hmm. Now, are these people just evil and malicious? Maybe. Or are all these people concerned about Wendy Williams' health and well-being? Shit, possibly. But all we do know is Wendy Williams is spiraling before our very eyes and we're seeing her demise. And it's sad because oh, I feel like things are only going to get worse from here. Language. You see this right here? Law. Okay. Please. No, look closely. No, I don't want to. Right. Look, please, look. Hold it up. I can't hold it higher. Do you see? Yeah, it's... we can see. Yeah. Okay, do you see this? Yeah. All right, it's up and down. And she even struggles to walk, get out of bed. And on top of that, she's also been experimenting with drugs. And that doesn't make anything any oh. better for her. Only Kevin and Kevin okay. have known about this. Uh, not my parents. Nobody. Nobody knew. Because <clears throat> I look so glamorous out here. But after I finished my, after I finished my um, appointments, seeing my brothers and sisters and, you know, breaking bread, I am driven by my 24-hour sober coach back to a home that I live in here in the South, I mean, in the Tri-State. So that is my truth. But a lot of people kind of have the idea that a lot of the stuff she's going through is that her karma. Now, I'm going to be real. Good. I like Wendy Williams, but I can't really sit up here and deny karma. Like, people can sit up here and be like, oh, no, don't say that. Don't say that. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. And I'm not wishing anything on anyone. It's not... It's like it's not insensitive to say that some of the stuff she's dealing with is karma. I think it is because who are you to say what's whose karma? Or like you can't you can't say that because you don't know the life this woman lived. Again, we all say negative things. We all gossip. We all do bad things. We all you know have a flawed uh way of living to some degree nobody is perfect so i don't think that's an appropriate thing to say honestly like someone is already going through a hard time and you're like well that's their karma like i i think that's kind of fucked up to say it is insensitive because what is the purpose of you saying that like okay what what, what's your, what are your fucking karma <laughs> what about what about the shit you've done when I, i'm talking about choice i'm talking about everybody like people who are making these comments so it's like, okay, you, let's talk about that. It, people are so quick to point fingers and, and judge others and, and be like, oh, well, you shouldn't have been doing this. And that's why this is happening to you. Like, I just, 
I don't personally like that. Because we all do and say fucked up things. Choice, for example, he's talked shit about so many people. <laughs> so what? What I have talked shit about people. I have gossiped. I have done all of that. But it's like, I don't think it's deserving of, of having an illness or whatever the fuck. Especially when we got people who are who are murderers out here, people who do a whole bunch of other heinous shit. Because she's, you know, made a few slick, not few, obviously a lot <laughs> of slick comments about people, that means that, oh, she's deserving of this. Because that's basically what you're saying. When you say someone is getting their karma, you're basically saying they're, they're getting what they deserve. That's essentially what you're saying. So it's just like, I don't personally think that's cool to say, but whatever. It's not just her issues of her health because again health issues are very serious and everyone has had a family member or someone they know personally struggle with health issues. It's just we're talking about Wendy Williams here. She does have a medical condition that's going on mm. as to why she looks the way she looks. However, this lady has talked about so many people so bad throughout her entire career. The lesson in this that needs to be learned is this. You might be looking fine and all that good stuff for right now, but you never know how you're gonna end up down the line. So Now, Wendy Williams is obviously the queen of TV, the queen of social media, the queen of everything. You know, she really paved the way for a lot of your favorite commentators to go on live stream. She paved the way for a lot of favorite commentators who are getting on the internet, the, the commentators who don't show their face, the commentators who have like all these opinions and are able to monetize and build a brand off of it. She paved the way for people like me, but I'm able to admit that Wendy Williams' delivery has been a little bit messy for decades. Wendy Williams, as we all know, got her start in the 80s, but she really pivoted and started going to that mainstream route in the mid-90s. No, as you know, she got a lot of publicity, if you didn't know, when she basically went out her way to expose the fact that Tupac is gay and experienced with gay men while he was in prison. To which Tupac then name-dropped her in his diss track and basically called her fat and ugly. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I ain't never heard that. What song is that? Admitted that without that verse, she doesn't know if she would still have the career that she has today. But please stand by for our sponsor. Oh, y'all go support. Y'all go support this man. And what is it about her? Things you're saying. Since then, everybody wants to know who this woman was, what she's about, and what is it about her to have people in an uproar. She's a woman of power. She she's successful, in. black woman, her feisty, she has a charismatic <laughs> personality. She's really talented, and she just knows how to shock people's attention. She has an aura that draws people to her. Oh. But... Let's be honest for a second. Wendy Williams has had a rocky history of some of the shit she's done. A lot of times, she's just addressing the tea. She's just breaking stuff down and saying things that all of us are thinking but just would never say. But then there's times where she's taking things a little bit too far, has lacked a lot of empathy, was very insensitive, and spoke out of turn when she damn sure should have just kept her mouth shut. We all do that. I, we all do it. Y'all do it in the fucking comments. People in on Instagram comments, TikTok comments, YouTube comments, y'all all be saying some shady shit, some fucked up shit. So I'm just not here for the superiority and the moral superiority. And oh, well, it's wrong when, when, shut up. Y'all all be running y'all mouth, talking shit, judging people on a very regular basis, especially with social media, okay? People, listen. The loudest people are the non-influencers and the non-hosts uh, and shit who are not Wendy Williams. Y'all be running y'all mouth the most and talking the most shit online. So what are we talking about? How y'all gonna fix y'all mouth to judge others and be like, well, she was taking it too far and doing too much. Let's look at your comment history. Let's look at it right now. What, what have you been saying about people? Like, stop it. I just, I'm not here for the hypocrisy personally, but whatever. Certain things. I had to have a surgery because I had a tumor. Oh. So they never, yeah, they never, but I talked about it. Where's the good part? No, they went on the inside. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Speaking of hospital <laughs> and um, stuff, we, we talked about everything so far, but your suicide attempt, which that was nervous laughter, that wasn't real laughter. Fantasia, um, allegedly, you took a, a fistful of aspirin and went in the closet in your bedroom? Yeah. Fantasia. Uh. Did you think about your daughter? Oh, uh, can I get some tissue? 
I always have some at the ready because I'm a crier. We cry here on the show. Yeah, Where this are they? Here they are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just read my mom and said all that. That was a little much. Oh, yeah, the Method Man situation is fucked up too. But again, <laughs> yes, I, and I'm not defending this woman and saying she hasn't said and done some fucked up shit. I am not saying that at all. I am acknowledging that she has. But all I'm saying is that everybody else is so quick to judge when they're doing the fucking same thing. They just don't have a platform. So it's like, I, I'm speaking on the hypocrisy, but I am not saying that she did not live her life wrong in a lot of different ways. I know she has. The man's wife was dealing with breast cancer. And I know you, and he, I know she your like wife exposed was going through a situation just recently, man. How did that resolve itself? And they are right now? I'd like to know how you found out. MTV. MTV, what did they say? They said that uh, you were going through something with, uh, with your wife. Like, I think she was sick or something like that, right? Yeah, she was sick. Sure, I, I would like to thank Wendy Williams for bringing that to the masses because she didn't have to go on the radio yeah, and say that Yeah, that has nothing to do with method. I like to keep stuff man. like that private, but yeah, she was sick. But everything's all right now. All right. Better than what it was. Well, then that's what's up. Right. That's what's better up. than what it was. That's what's up, man. I know a lot of us go through it, you know what I mean? I be feeling like, yo, that ain't nobody fucking business right that's there, though. That's the, I'm sorry. That's just how I feel about it and shit. That's her business. She didn't want anybody to know about it. You know what I'm saying? And I respected her wishes right there. So for the media to bring that and put that shit out there like that, I think that shit is mad tacky and disrespectful. I agree. We still live in our same community where we used to live at. The people that lived around us didn't know she was sick too. You said that shit. Uh, yeah. I hate Bossa. I hate all that shit. I hate fucking Wendy Williams. I hate anybody that you that that does hack shit to get money. I think that's hack shit. They ride other people's backs and coattails to get where they at, to get their positions. And then what do they do after that? Because if they didn't have y'all people here. They wouldn't even be existing right now. And the whole, also the other thing is that the same people who run in a mob and talking about, oh, this is so wrong. Y'all be tuned the fuck in with your popcorn. Watching these blog uh, channels, these tea pages, shade room. If you're tuning in, shut the fuck up. If you are up to date on pop culture and what's going on, shut the fuck up. Because you are consuming all of the nonsense and the negativity. So, again, <laughs> hypocrisy. What if World Star took y'all business? Let's so speak on it. Cancer, and World Star put that shit up on the world to see. Would you fuck with them again after that? Yeah, but I bet you five dollars if you were somebody with a name behind you, they'd do that shit in a heartbeat. No, he I hate all that shit, man. Fuck that. That shit has nothing to do with hip hop, right? I don't give a fuck what website it is. If you spewing more fucking bad energy about niggas in the game and shit, us artists need to come together, get pictures, get pictures of these motherfuckers. Put them up on the fucking line and let y'all whoop their ass every time they show up to a fucking real nigga. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it's gonna get so bad that y'all motherfuckers are gonna have to walk around with helmets on your head 24-7. Cause niggas is gonna be popping bottles on y'all niggas, man. I hate y'all motherfuckers. I said it. I hate y'all motherfuckers. Oh, you gossiping man. ass, dumb ass motherfuckers. Oh. Kiss my ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it wasn't her place to out it, but of course she did it anyways. Yeah, no, I agree. I'll be mad too. To the woman who was going around clout chasing, claiming that she was screwing and smashing Judge Mathis, and then Judge Mathis got her ass together. I told you that it was untrue, and I told you that it was tabloid trash, which all public figures have to endure. Right. I, and then you continue to want to talk about it for 10 more minutes, mm, and I informed you that you were fueling rumors by continuing to talk about it. I mean, yeah, Whitney. As long as I'm here and as long as you get out of order, I will check you. So, yeah. So, you <laughs> yeah. don't know this woman. There you go again. Are you still getting high? Cause I just saw you <laughs> in the bathroom looking like you're right, high. In fact, you got white powder around your nose oh. right now. Yes, you do. Ask your colleagues. Okay, can you we bring it to the nose? Doesn't it look like can you got white powder around your nose? The VH1 cast. You got powder around your nose. Let's take a look. It looks like it to me. Or it looks like you got white powder to me around your nose. I don't know where they're. Don't feed. I need to check you in the rehab. See, this is the type of shit I condone, if anything. It's like, <laughs> if anything, you could say this is her karma. This is deserving. It's like, you talk shit about other people, so you better be open to other people talking shit about you. If you could put it out there, you better be able to handle it when people throw it right back at you. This is what I'm like, okay, she got what she got. 
So this I'm more in support of, but <laughs> the disease shit is like, eh, that's where I'm like, all right, that's too far. And pray for you. Wow. Well, you need help, sweetie. Let's all get and look, now she cried. Okay. All right. Um, you go where my nigga cards at? You picked the wrong one this time, wouldn't you? That's all. No, I think I picked the right one, baby. That's right. You're I gonna think, I think up this, is, this is <laughs> like, this is like, up on the absolutely not. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look, after this is over, you and I still cool. But the one thing I feel like Wendy was getting a lot of karma for is her situation with her husband. Now, as we all know, her husband slash ex-manager has been very abusive yeah. towards her for many years. Big reason why she was allegedly hooked on drugs. Big reason why she was depressed for many years. And a big reason why she could have lost her entire empire and much more. She was the breadwinner and she settled for this bummy dude who was basically utilizing a lot of the resources that she got that he got from her. And of course, mm -hmm. Kelvin Hunter eventually kicked her to the hurt curb, cheated on her, and had a secret baby on her, as we all know, in the media. Yeah. But what's so odd and interesting is, Ooh. Wendy Williams had this same energy for someone like Free from 106 Apart. Now, if you guys didn't know, Wendy Williams basically dragged and exposed Free from 106 and Park for allegedly having a secret baby by Jay-Z. What? That has never been proven, and we don't know if Jay-Z even has a secret child that's confirmed. A secret baby? But when was she Wendy Williams pregnant? put that out there, and she claimed that she had receipts and all that shit. People love Free, though. I try to bust the nut, he bust the nut. <laughs> the heir to the throne. Is freeze child. Well, girl, you just gave birth to your golden ticket. She was doing a lot though. She would push rumors that hold on, probably weren't even true. Tell her to hold on. Um, you know what? That were like damaging. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, Goose, you don't hold up a one-minute sign. Let's go to Jerry on line seven. Yes. Sisters in the same hospital is free. Uh, Jerry? Jerry? Yes. All right, what's going on over there at the hospital? Uh, my sister gave birth on the same day that we gave birth to her. Oh! 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 She claimed that she had all this information about free in the hospital room, all that stuff. She gave a platform to some random stranger who was blasting all of this. Jay Z baby. And now, how ironic! Look at this poetic justice serving Wendy. The thing about karma is karma. She may take her sweet time, but karma will be a bitch when she's ready to be a bitch. And Wendy Williams got her karma for that. Wendy Williams is at a point in her life where she's probably going to be losing a lot of her empire. So if you guys didn't know, Wendy Williams is likely going to lose her conservatorship. As you all know, her manager, if you didn't know, is working on trying to control her conservatorship. A lot of people on her team say that she's mentally unfit, unstable. All I want to know is where is my money? This is not right. Lori Schiller, this looks like Bernie that. Young, and Wells Fargo. Please let me have access to my money. She was in all types of sober yeah. houses, and Wendy Williams is just completely losing it. We're watching her deteriorate in front of our very eyes, and it's just like, how did this woman who was in really good health, doing so well, all of a sudden get to this point? She was in good health. A She's lot of people drugs, think it's right? a spiritual warfare, it's a spiritual attack, and I wouldn't blame them. You know, even someone like Chris Brown pretty much grilled Wendy Williams, you already know, a couple years ago when she was going through her bullshit. And basically, Chris Brown grilled the fact that Wendy Williams is going through her karma and that she deserves a lot of the shit that's coming her way. So according to a source, Chris Brown feels bad that Wendy is suffering an illness, but he can't help but think that the uh, bad karma is the blame for all poor health. Now, Chris is a big believer in energy and uh, in the universe, and he thinks that cosmic karma may, may be partly to blame for Wendy's health problems. Then there was Nicki Minaj. So does that Nicki mean you can your karma, Chris? She empathize with Wendy Williams, but then when it got to a point where Wendy Williams was going in on her, she then drugged Wendy Williams' ass and dragged her and said that Wendy Williams ain't shit. And she's mad at that, um, that Megan got three. And I was only been out for a minute. Well, Megan earned them. You know how she earned them? By maybe being kind to the people around her. Three of battling with people. I need my list. Mm. Okay. Oh, but yes, there you see. Safari. DJ Self. Numerous rappers. Why you can't name them? Tiffany Haddish. Chance of Love and Hip Hop. The whole cast? Record label. 
for hairstylists, Spotify, Billboard magazine, Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner, and a seven-month-old baby. Girl. <laughs> starting to be like your personalities are becoming bigger than your music. Wendy Williams doesn't owe anybody anything and she doesn't owe anybody kindness or whatever because she's just doing her job. How can you fault her for Sorry, it? Nikki was nice but there was an instance where Nicki Minaj tried to show her love and show her peace when she was going through all these things and her health. Not long. <clears throat> what the hell? I apologize. I apologize. Oh, she's not lonely. And of course, Nicki Minaj wasn't thrilled to see her still go in on her. Three times in a row, a bitch doing a show acting like she fucking stuttering John. Talking about, is it manslaughter? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does manslaughter? Is that, does it mean that you actually killed somebody? Does it mean that you murdered? Bitch, where was you at when Kevin had his dick? Knee deep oh. in that bitch pool not knee. <laughs> But I'm going to be honest with you, I do feel like a lot of people are going on social media and TikTok and the internet saying that a lot of this is her karma, so a lot of people don't feel bad for her. And honestly, can you blame them? I mean, I hope Wendy Williams is good and I wish her a speedy recovery, but then there's people who just like, why the fuck should I care about Wendy Williams when she did this to this person, this to that person? Look at the kind of shit she did. And who the fuck cares? You know, a lot of people and her colleagues are saying, shut up, don't say that, how dare you say that, but they weren't affected by Wendy Williams. So how can they sit up here and try to just for, forget all the shit Wendy Williams? You know what I'm saying? Like, how can people like Jason Lee or Dee Dee from The Morning Show or many other people try to defend her and be like, oh, well, how dare y'all? That's wrong. That's fucked. But did she come for you, though? Did she talk about you? I mean, a lot of celebrities who she has came for are pretty much quiet and silent when they hear about this stuff. But behind the scenes, I can guarantee y'all, a, a lot of them are just like, well, all fucking well. It is really fucked up that people give a lot of Wendy Williams a lot of this flack because there's other people who didn't get as much flack as Wendy Williams. And there's people who have done, who have done and said things that are just as bad as Wendy Williams. For example, Howard Stern. Howard Stern came up a little bit before Wendy Williams in like the early 80s. Yeah, he's he been very horrible. successful for a very long time. Really successful, one of the most successful radio in the world. But Howard Stern is fucking horrible. He's misogynistic. He has yeah. made racist comments. He has done some really fucked up shit, but he's never lost his brand deals. He's always asked to come back to all these talent shows. He's always doing these promotional events. He's everywhere. But do y'all remember what Howard Stern did to Selena Quintanilla back in the 90s? But those who didn't know, when the singer Selena Quintanilla passed away back in 1995, Howard Stern had the most disgusting things to say, saying that Hispanic people had bad taste in music, and he just did the most. <laughs> Wait, Ron, what else is new? Well, thousands of mourners have been remembering the woman known as the Queen of Tejano music, Howard. The singer Selena was shot in the Corpus Christi, Texas on Friday. Oh, the founder of her fan club was charged with murder. You're kidding me? No. Aww. The president of the fan club? Yes. Yeah. Aww. Spanish people have the worst taste of music. They really do. <laughs> they don't like death. No, they don't like any death. It's all like, you know, <laughs> This type of racist comments have no place in our radios. Stern's words angered Selena's many fans in Texas where she was shot and killed last Friday. You know, for the Hispanic you know, community, you know, it's a very sad thing. You know, we lost her murder is getting you know, released soon, that's all. You know, we're kind of, you know, heard and, uh, and, you know, we just feel that, you know, Howard Stern, you know, needs to kind of cool it down sometimes when it comes to death or any other, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, we sick. have uh, immediately contacted the Federal Communications Commission for an investigation and, of course, have asked that his show be terminated. These newspapers down in Dallas and El Paso and stuff, and I go, well, what's up? What do I do now? They said, and he said, well, what did you say about this uh, woman who got shot, Selena? Oh. I said, what did I say? Let's see. I said, um... I said her music sounded really kind of sucky, but you know, I said I was really sad about the way she died. I thought it was What's awful. You know, I, I said I don't think that you know. I started reviewing everything I said. Now tell me if I'm wrong. I said, well, she was called the Madonna of Mexico, and I said that's kind of a crummy job, being the Madonna of Mexico, because the Madonna, the real Madonna, wouldn't go and have to deal with the her fan club president. That's probably top ten most horrible things he's done. 
Let's not forget about the fact that he was going around spreading the rumors about Michael Jackson being a predator, and basically he did a whole comedy skit back in the 90s, dragging Michael Jackson, even though there was no evidence, and Michael Jackson has been literally found innocent numerous times, and people have settled outside of court. Howard Stern did a whole skit that was really popular back then, dragging Michael Jackson. Can I understand this is stupid? Can I understand this is stupid, okay? What is going on here? Ooh. Just writing you a check for, for $50,000. Oh, you boys have fun. Okay, good night, good night. Wendy has a documentary that's coming out later this year. And in this documentary, she's going to be exposing Wills Fargo, her manager. She feels as though that she has this big machine against her that's coming against her to destroy her. But let's be honest, Wendy Williams, you picked a fight with a lot of people. She picked a fight and she poked fun at a lot of very dangerous people. And I honestly can't blame anybody for not feeling bad for Wendy Williams. She did pave the way for a lot of commentators and people to, you know, go around spilling tea and breaking stuff down. And if it weren't for her, we wouldn't have a lot of people that we have today. But Wendy Williams had poor execution. She did things that she probably shouldn't have did, said things she shouldn't have done, and she stood by. Yeah. But the one thing I will respect about Wendy that I think most people should respect about Wendy is can you blame her? I mean, to be honest with you, at least she's honest about some of the shit she did. At least she's honest about being messy. And at least she's honest about the fact that no one has to have any sympathy for her because of who she is. I would ask you to respect our privacy, but please, I don't respect people's privacy. That's why I'm the hot topic. So I appreciate her for at least mm -hmm. owning it. All in all, those are my overall thoughts and opinions about Wendy Williams. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's it's a messed up situation. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm not negating the fact that she did and said some terrible things. All I'm highlighting is that we all have did and said terrible things. And a lot of people who are criticizing her, they are actively <laughs> doing and saying terrible things. Like if you are even consuming this type of content, this gossipy drama type content, you are also a part of the problem. So that's why I don't understand the moral superiority and acting like you're above it and, oh, that's so wrong. What Wendy was doing as you are eating your popcorn, you know, consuming this type of content that, that she made popular. And, and as you are actively leaving negative comments, talking shit about other people and judging people on a very regular basis. I, that's what I don't understand. That's just very hypocritical to me. Anyway, that's just my opinion about it all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!